my life's been, as long as I can remember, motorbikes and more motorbikes, my trusty Honda Hornet there, um, a little Suzuki DRZ that I owned for a while, and a Honda CB1300, this girl like the clappers, and my current steed, a BMW R1100 GS. But uh, I do like to mess about on my trials bike, a little fantic there. But then I had this Kawasaki Tengai, and I didn't know what to do with it. So I imagined I could turn it into something like this. So I did. Uh, I think you'll agree it's... Uh, I think it's stylish anyway. Uh, it has a touch of the 50s cafe racer about it. And uh, I'll be entering it in hill climbing. And uh, this is hill climbing. Trying to cover half a mile as quickly as you can in the shortest possible time. And the fastest time wins. That's not me, by the way. But it doesn't always go right. Things do go wrong. So you're probably wondering what's involved in building a bike like that. Well, you need to start off with your basic machine in the state that it is, all rusty, and uh, start stripping it down. Every, throw away every nut and bolt because they're going to be replaced with stainless steel ones. Helps to have a nice bit of machinery to make one off bits. Um, but as you carry on, the bike gets less and less, and uh, you're eventually left with a bare frame, um, which I degreased and I removed all the unnecessary brackets uh, and I shortened and welded the subframe there. And when that was done, I tri trial fitted the tank uh, and then I painted the frame. Um, gave it about three coats of hammerite smooth. Then I fitted, trial fitted the yokes and forks and the swing arm and rear shock and got the wheels done, which were rebuilt, so I had a rolling chassis. And then tried on the tank and then, as if by magic, I fitted the engine. And here is the 99% finished item. There's uh, that under seat exhaust. Uh, it's uh, stainless bellows, like flexible bellows, connected to the standard header pipe. And there's a cut down silencer. Uh, that tailpipe's got to be trimmed and remove that little bracket there. Cut the tailpipe at an angle. And uh, there's another view of it. I'll have a race number on the front. I'm not sure what my race number is now yet. Uh, an RGV 250 master cylinder. Uh, it's braided stainless brake hoses front and rear. And a sticker. The world's first KPS motorcycle. And uh, I'm as happy as Larry with it. But uh, you should hear what it sounds like. I think it sounds fantastic. Thank <laughs> you.